What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've made my way down to Flow Toyota of Statesville and behind me we're going to take a look at the 2020 Toyota Avalon TRD. Huge shout out to them for providing this vehicle for me today. I'll have a link to their website down in the description below. They definitely have a massive selection of inventory to choose from, so definitely check them out. But anyways, we're gonna take a look at this one today. It's finished off in Celestial Silver Metallic and has an MSRP just over $46,000. Under the hood, this has a three and a half liter V6 engine. This is only paired to the eight speed automatic transmission and also features steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. This engine produces 301 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 267 pound-feet of torque at 4,700 RPM. It is front-wheel drive, weighs around 3,600 pounds, it'll do zero to 60 in around six seconds, and with a fuel capacity of 15.8 gallons, you can expect to see 22 miles per gallon in the city and 31 on the highway. The wheelbase measures 113 inches, it has an overall length of 195.9, the width is 72.8, it has a height of 55.9 inches and ground clearance is at 5.3 inches. Starting up front, this comes with LED headlights. The Piano Black Sport Grille is part of the TRD package, along with the splitter, which adds to the aggressiveness of the front end. The top section of the grille also features a nice Piano Black trim piece that separates it from the hood. This has dynamic radar cruise, which is built into the front grille. You can also see there's a nice pattern running throughout it as well. There's functional air inlets on each side of the grille, along with more contours above that to add to the aggressive front end. And as we make our way up to the hood, it features very clean lines running throughout it. Moving to the side, this features 19 inch matte black alloy wheels with red TRD center caps. This has four wheel disc brakes in all four corners. As you can see, the brake calipers have been painted red. The side mirrors are finished off in gloss black. They are heated, have the integrated turn signal along with the blind spot indicator. The window trim has also been blacked out. As we move our way back down to the lower section of the door, you can see the side skirts with the red trim piece, giving it a really good contrast against the metallic paint color. You can see great contoured lines running throughout the side of the vehicle both in the lower section of the door and up by the door handles. And then as we make our way up to the roof, it does feature a sunroof. And finishing up in the rear with the gloss black trunk lip spoiler, this has LED taillights, a backup camera. You can see Avalon nicely spelled out between the connector bar between the taillights. There's more contoured lines running throughout the rear bumper. Down below, this has a gloss black diffuser and also features a TRD cat back exhaust with stainless steel tips. So that is gonna finish up with the exterior on the all new 2020 Toyota Avalon T. TRD. Comment down below, what do you think of the first year model for the TRD Avalon edition? Personally, I really like it. I love all of the, the side skirts there with the red trim. You have the black wheels with the red calipers. It just makes it much more sporty for the Avalon. I think they did a really good job. It has an aggressive appearance from the front end and everything ties in very well on the outside. It has a really nice exterior look to it. But now with the key, we can go ahead and check out the interior. And as long as I have the vehicle locked, I'll just walk up to it, place my hand on the door handle. You'll hear it automatically unlock. Starting with the door panel, you can see there's soft text leather on the armrest along with red stitching, which gives it a really nice design. There's a brushed aluminum trim piece just underneath that along with up on the release handle. All of the windows are automatic up and down. You have your lock and unlock in front of that with your side mirror adjustments. This has the upgraded JBL audio system, which features 19 speakers and 1200 watts. You have a little bit of storage space just behind that. As we make our way into the inside, you can see Avalon down on the door sill. Also, as part of the TRD package, you can see it written down on the floor mats along with the red trim running on the outside, and this has aluminum pedals. And then taking a look at the two-tone seats, you can see TRD up on the headrest along with more red stitching, a nice stripe running down the center. These are heated seats. They have soft tex leather, really nice bolstering support to them, and they have an eight-way power adjustability with two-way power lumbar support. So once inside now, I can go ahead and put my foot on the brake and start it up. Once inside, we're greeted with a fully wrapped black leather steering wheel. You can see the red stitching running throughout the inside of it. Definitely gives it a really nice touch. This has solid leather on the top and bottom and then perforated leather to the sides. On the right side, we have all the cruise control buttons along with your mode and tuning for the radio. You have your radar cruise and your steering assist as well. 
Over on the left side, all of these buttons will control the center screen, which I'll get to here soon. You also have your Bluetooth controls and volume for the radio. This also has these steering wheel mounted paddle shifters again. They have a nice design to them. With the vehicle on now, we'll go ahead and take a look at the center gauge cluster. You can see off to the right is the speedometer and fuel gauge. On the left side, you have the tack and the engine temperature. And then right in the middle, you have a digital screen. So using those buttons on the steering wheel, Right now we're looking at the miles per hour and your distance till empty. You can look at your driving support along with the compass. You have all of your music, all of your system status as well. So your pre-collision, your blind spot, your rear cross traffic alert. We can also look at the TPMS sensors. We can scroll down and turn on and off all of the technology features that I just went over. So it's really nice to be able to do that. You have your messages. And then also in the speedometer setting here, we can scroll over and look at your fuel economy along with your eco indicator. Off to the left side of the steering wheel, we have the trip odometer along with traction control. You have your automatic headlights, your fuel cap release along with the trunk release. You can see more of that soft text leather with red stitching. There's one air vent. You can see part of the JBL audio system in both A pillars, which is nice to see. And then right in the center, we have the nine inch touchscreen navigation screen. As you can see, we have the screen on the home setting right now, which is the top left button. You have your music, your phone, and navigation over to the right. This is a configurable screen, so you can mix and match this and have it set up however you'd like. We can go down and push on the menu button right now. You'll see your navigation again, your audio phone. You have some apps that you can go into for your infotainment or communications if you need to go into that. You also have projection, which is compatible with your phone. And then info and setup, you have a display button down at the bottom right so you can adjust the brightness and contrast, things like that. You have your audio just below that, along with a map button, so we can pull up this, you can see it full screen. It does have pinch to zoom as well, which is nice to see. And then off to the right, we have seek and track for music and radio, along with your phone, which you can easily get access to when that is paired. You have an apps button again that will bring you up to this screen. Tuning and scrolling is down on the far right and then you have power and volume off to the left. Just below that there are two air vents along with the hazard button right in the middle. This does have a dual zone climate feature so you have driver and passenger. They are currently synced at the moment so if you just undo that you can control each one individually. This has heated seats again so you have three different settings again for driver and passenger. And then right in the middle you have all the AC controls. The fan speed is right in the center. You have more recirc buttons to the left and right of that and then you can shut everything off. I like the layout. Not too many buttons but it has a nice design to it at the same time. Just underneath that, there's a large compartment here. You can also slide this tray back to open that up. This does have a wireless charging port with the power button just on the top section there. We can easily close that up. So you have a nice amount of storage above that and below it as well. Moving on to the shifter. This has the TRD shifter with leather and red stitching. Has a really nice design to it. If we just pull the front trigger, we can go into reverse. You will see the backup camera light up. You can adjust the guidelines to completely off you have two other settings, and then this red line here is 12 inches from the back bumper. With the guidelines on, they do move with the steering wheel, which is nice to see, very helpful. And there are two different camera angles. If we just push down on the bottom left here, this is more of a wide angle lens. You can clearly see this entire vehicle right there. If we push back on the standard view, it's a little bit more narrow. You can see just the front end of that vehicle, but you also have a nice center line too to know exactly where the vehicle is. Coming back to the shifter, we can also go all the way down into drive, pop it over into manual mode so you can shift using this or the steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. Just behind that, we have three different driving modes. There's eco, normal, and sport. You have a brake hold assist feature along with the electronic parking brake. Over to the right side, you get two different cup holders, a little bit different design for both of them. And then right in the center, we have more leather with black stitching. If we just push on the center button, we can easily open that up. You have a removable tray in the back side. And with that out of the way, there are two USB ports on one side, along with an auxiliary port and another USB. Definitely have a deep amount of room for anything that needs to fit there. As we make our way over to the glove box, you have your normal amount of room for anything that needs to go there. You have more red stitching just above that and a nice trim piece running across along with this piece running all the way to the air vent. Gives it a really nice look. You can get another look at the TRD floor mats and then one last look at the seats. I also forgot to mention too that with the TRD you get red seat belts both in the front and the rear. That is a really nice touch to see. Coming back up to the front, this does have a sunroof so you have all of those controls up in the center along with the dome light switches as well. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the rear seating and the door panels finished off just like up front with more of the red stitching. You have a little bit of storage space behind one speaker. This is a five seater sedan. Behind both front seats you have some nice extra storage for anything that needs to go there. 
There's two air vents in the center along with two USBs. And then talking about legroom, I have the front seat set at my height, 510. And you can see I have a good foot in between my knees and the back of the seat. I can easily put my feet up underneath the seat as well. And I have about two or three inches above my head. So it's very spacious in the back seat. You could easily have two other people next to you. Plenty of room, no complaints with any of the legroom or headroom. As we make our way to the middle seat here, you have a little bit of a storage tray in front of that for a phone or something, along with two cup holders in the back. We'll take another look out of the back glass. Definitely plenty of visibility. And then as you can see, just like up front, you have red seat belts in the back, which is a really nice touch, along with a red stripe running down the center. The back seats also have a 60-40 split to them. In order to fold them down, you do have to pull a tab that's located in the trunk. And then with that pulled, you can easily fold the driver's side one down here, and you can see it folds completely flat. And then here is your room into the back area there. And last up, we'll go ahead and take a look at the trunk storage space. You can either use the button on the key fob, inside on the door, or to the left of the end. There's an electronic button up underneath. This does have a power trunk. There's about 16 cubic feet of storage space with the back seats up and then obviously much more with them folded down. I like how there's a cutout to the right side and on the left side so you can put anything sideways that you need. There's also some tabs here where you can attach a net so you can have more secure items in the back. And of course this has a TRD Avalon floor mat along with the red outsides giving it a really nice look. All right, so getting the 2020 Avalon TRD out on the road. I don't think I have driven an Avalon before. I've driven a couple Camrys, so this is obviously gonna be pretty similar to it. Just a normal five-seater sedan, but just starting off with the overall visibility, it's really easy to see all around. I like how in front of the side mirrors, you can actually see between them and the A-pillar on both sides, so it just gives you a little bit more visibility. I can easily see out of that rear glass. And then a glance over my left and right shoulder, honestly, there's virtually zero blind spots, which is really nice to see. I just noticed too, there's a small glass behind the back glass or the, the windows that move up and down in the back. Um, so you can easily see that over your left and right shoulder, which is really nice. And the pillars are not very bulky at all. Even looking out of the rear view mirror, I can see between the very back glass and that little side piece. So even from here looking forward, I have no blind spots. So that's really nice to see. Pulling out onto the road now, we'll just give it a little bit of gas here. Normal automatic mode and we are up to the speed limit just like that. This has the three different driving modes again. Eco, it will appear green on the dash. We have normal, which is blue, and then sport mode turns red. The RPM just went a little bit higher. So from normal mode, we're at 40 miles an hour, 1500 RPM. Sport mode puts it up about three or 400 RPM. So you have a little bit more range to play with and we'll give it a little bit of gas, nothing crazy. It, it still moves. It's not, I don't feel like there's a difference between that and normal mode, other than it gives you maybe a little bit better throttle response. But you also have the catback TRD exhaust, which I, have, I haven't seen on a Camry or an Avalon, so that's pretty cool to see. Uh, it's not too loud. This is a very well insulated car from the inside, even on downshifts like I just did. It has a nice tone to it, but this is not a sports car. It's not trying to be a sports car. It just gives it that little extra bitty kind of grunt aggressiveness for a family sedan. So it's pretty cool how they've incorporated the TRD exhaust into the Avalon. But moving on to the overall comfort of driving this, I've been in it for a couple miles now. Honestly, it's very comfortable. I have no complaints. I like the armrest. It's in a good spot. I can still have my hands on the steering wheel. So easily, actually on both sides, easily have a nice comfortable cruising ride. This is gonna be a daily driver for most people. So uh, comfort is important. I like the layout of the steering wheel too has good notches on both sides, so you can have a good grip on it. Paddles are in a good spot. Probably not gonna be using those a whole lot, but they are there if you'd like to use them. And coming around some of these turns, it handles well for a sedan just taking it at normal speeds. It, it handles well. I really like everything and all the materials, the layout of everything as well. The seats are a soft text leather, but they have a nice comfortable feel to them, as I mentioned earlier. I like the pattern running through them and the bolsters. They're not over aggressive. Feels like a nice premium feeling interior and it has the TRD shift knob, which is a nice touch to see. And then moving on to all of the, the layout of everything. I like having minimal buttons. It's really easy to go through everything. The layout is simple. You have all the AC controls nicely labeled down below and then your buttons for the nav screen on each side. Very large print, easy to see and within reach from the driver's seat. So I don't have to stretch too far 
I can easily touch all of the buttons and go through anything that I need to. As I mentioned earlier, this has a lot of standard safety features. We went through a few of them in the center screen there, but to add to that, this has the star safety system, which includes your traction control. It has your electronic stability control, things like that. As you can hear right now, the lane keeping assist just went off as I got to the double yellow line there, just passing some pedestrians on the side there. But it, it warns you, it gives you a audible a tone. This also has an acoustic noise reducing windshield and front windows, both driver and passenger, which adds to the quietness of the ride. You can't hear any of the wind noise. You can't hear any road noise. It is a very quiet and comfortable ride. You can hear the exhaust just a little bit if you get on the gas just a little bit. Moving on from the quietness of it is how it rides going over bumps. I haven't been on the smoothest road right now, but it's absorbing bumps very well. The suspension is fixed. It doesn't change between your eco, normal, or sport mode. That is just going to change a little bit of the throttle response. But even going over some of these potholes here, it's very, it's very comfortable. It's absorbing those bumps very well. I don't know how you guys will be able to see that from that camera angle, but I have no complaints with that. It's a very smooth ride overall. Last thing I wanna talk about is the storage room for a daily driver. You can easily have five people in here and pretty much all the luggage for five people in the trunk. It's a very nicely laid out uh, interior and trunk space. So you have plenty of room and you can fold the seats down, put anything through them that you need. Well guys, I think that's gonna wrap up my walk around review and test drive in the 2020 Toyota Avalon TRD. Once again, huge shout out to Flow Toyota of Statesville for providing this vehicle for me today. I will have a link to their website in the description. Definitely check them out. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.